Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will discuss simplifying rational algebraic expressions. In this topic, I will be teaching you how to simplify a kind of fraction with different terms including variables, coefficients, and constants. So I hope na matutunan niyo yung lesson natin on how to simplify RAE. So without further ado, let's start simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So we have here the basic example na meron tayo sa first one is that you have 20 x raised to 7 over 35 x raised to 4. So basically, um, as a grade 8 student or dealing with this kind of problem, ang ginagawa ko rito is I am teaching the students to factor out uh, the coefficient and the variables. So as you can see, you have here 20 and 35. So isipin mo ngayon, what are the factors of 20 and 35? Na kung isipin natin, dapat isipin natin na ano ba yung greatest common factor ng 20 and 35 na pwede natin simplify. So basically, alam natin na ang 20 at 35 ay meron silang greatest common factor na 5. So we can factor out 20 as 5 times 4. Same with 35. Since the greatest common factor in the 5, you can factor out 5 at 35 as 5 and 7. So, how about the variables? For the variables, you have x raised to 7. You can rewrite x raised to 7 as x times x times x times x times x times x times x. So, ang ginawa lang natin, nag-rewrite lang tayo ng 7 times ng x variable. And this part is equivalent to x raised to 7. Finactor out natin yung x raised to 7. Now, how about x raised to the 4th power? So, you will rewrite it or factor it as x times x times x times x. 4 times may susulat sila. And then, kung mapansin nyo, common yung 5. You can eliminate 5 here at dito. And then, for the x variable, you can eliminate this, eliminate this, eliminate this, and eliminate this. So, ang matitira na lang dyan is just 4. And then, since meron ka rito tatlong x variable, that is equivalent to x cubed over 7. Now, this is the final answer for item number 1. Your answer is 4x cubed over 7. Mathematically speaking, yung ginawa natin sa variables natin, kung mapansin nyo, nag-subtract mo tayo ng, variable, ng exponent ng ating variables. If you, as you can see, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. That's the process on how to do it. Okay? So, I hope sa first example natin, naintindihan nyo yung concept ng simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Within this topic, kailangan niya mag-apply ng different factoring techniques para ma-overcome yung gantong klaseng task. Let's move on to item number 2. In item number 2, you have 3x squared minus 6x over 2x minus 4. Ang gagawin mo dito, you need to factor out something at ang advice ko sa inyo is to use common monomial factoring. So, unahin natin yung numerator. Sa numerator mo, pag mag-iisip kayo ng common monomial factor, you need to consider the factors of the coefficients and the variables. Mag-focus ka muna dito. 3 and 6. What is common between 3 and 6? The common number or their greatest common factor is 3. Now, let's move on to the variable. You have x squared and x. So, ang common sa nila is the variable x. And then, the other factor is x minus 2. So, paano natin nakuha yung x minus 2? Again, yung 3x squared natin, i-divide mo siya sa 3x sa, sa yung common monomial factor. Makakuha mo yung x minus yung iyong 6x, 
will be divided by your common monomial factor, which is 3x. That will give you 2 over yung denominator mo naman, ito, isipin mo yung common monomial factor. For 2 and 4, their common factor is 2. And then for the variable, hindi na po lang common variable. Therefore, the factors are x minus 2. So, paano ulit nakuha yung, yung 2 times x minus 2? Yung 2x mo, i-divide mo sa gamit yung yung common monomial factor, that is x. Yung 4, Divide by 2, it will give you 2. So, these are the factors. And as you can see, say yung numerator and denominator, common yung, yung x minus 2. So, you can eliminate this factor sa numerator at sa yung denominator. At ang natitira na lang for this expression is none other than 3x over 2. So, kung mapansin nyo, inapply natin yung natutunan natin on how to use common monomial factoring. Okay? So, let's move on to item number 3. So, as you can see, we have a binomial sa yung numerator at meron ka namang trinomial sa yung denominator. So, isipin natin ano bang factoring technique yung applicable for the given expression x squared minus 16. So, kung ano notice nyo, this is a perfect square term, ito rin isang perfect square. At as you can see, this one is subtraction. Therefore, you will be using difference of two squares. So, ang factors nyan, when you factor out your numerator, the factors are x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now, for your denominator, you have the trinomial x squared plus 9x plus 20 so, you need to think of the factors of the trinomial. So, ang gagawin mo lang naman, what are the possible factors of 20 that will give you the sum of 9? Again, what are the possible factors of 20 na magbibigay sa iyo ng sum na 9? So, I think that is 4 times 5. Because 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So, you have here 4 and 5, positive and positive. Now, for the first terms of your factor, kunin mo lang yung square root niya ng factors ng x squared i, x, and x. So, as you can see, the factors of your numerator are x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now, for your denominator, you have x plus 4 over x plus 5. At meron tayong common factor, meaning you can eliminate this factor and this factor, and the remaining factors or the remaining expression in your numerator is x minus 4 over x plus 5. So, okay lang yan kahit wala siyang parenthesis. Again, this is the final answer for item number 3. Let's move on to item number 4. Medyo mabilis pa tayo. So, I hope um, pwede nyo i-post yung ating video para makopya nyo or magkaroon kayo ng notes habang pinapanood nyo ito. Let's move on to item number 4. Now, look at item number 4. Your, num your numerator is a single term numerator at yung denominator mo naman is also a single term denominator. Kanina, Ina-play natin yung pag-factor out ng mga numbers at yung yung variables in-expand natin. Pero hindi naman kailangan laging expanded form yung yung mga variables. So first, you need to think what is the greatest common factor of 81 and 63. So both of them are divisible by 9. So I think their greatest common factor is 9. So we can factor out 81 as 9 times 9, right? And then for your denominator, that is 9 times 7. Now, do we need to factor out x raised to 5 as x times x times x times x times x? No. Punta mo itong denominator mo. You have here x cubed. Alam natin, you can factor out x to the 5th power 
as x cubed times x squared. Parehas lang naman yan. Kasi that is equivalent to x raised to 5. And then, your denominator, no need to factor it out. As is na lang siya. Copy mo lang. Ang target kasi natin is maging parehas yung numerator sa denominator natin. So your y raised to 7 and y raised to 4. So we can factor out this part as y raised to 4 times y raised to 3. Next, copy your denominator y raised to 4. As you can see, you can cancel out something or some factors in your numerator and in your denominator. Cancel natin itong 9. At itong 9 ito. Now for the variables, as you can see, these are common. You can eliminate x cubed and x cubed. Now, another factor na pwede natin ma-eliminate is yung y raised to 4. Cancel out and cancel out. So the remaining factors are 9 x squared y cubed over 7. This is the answer for item number 4. Okay? So let's move on with the last one. I think this is the last one. Okay. Last one. So you have here a trinomial and a binomial. So basically, we will do trinomial factoring and common monomial factoring. I think. Let's try. So we have here x squared minus 8x plus 15. So you need to think the factors of 15 that will give you negative 8. So I think the factors are 5 times 3. That is 15. Pero when you add 5 times 3, 5 and 3, it will give you positive 8. And look, this is negative. So possible or obviously the signs of 5 and 3 is negative. So, factors ng ating numerator ay x minus 5, x minus 3. Again, let me explain. Bakit tayo gumamit ng negative 5 at negative 3? This is positive. Ibig sabihin, ang choice natin, it's either negative times negative or positive times positive. Ngayon, sir, paano kami pipili? whether it is positive and positive or negative and negative, puntahan nyo ngayon yung sign sa middle term. If that is negative, therefore, gagamitin mong sign ay parehas negative. Okay? And then, the factors of x squared are x and x. So, tuloy lang natin. Over, as you can see, ang common monomial factor ng 2x squared minus 18 ay 2. So the other factors are x squared minus 9. So as you can see, wala pa rin tayong pwedeng ma-cancel out kasi wala namang common factor. But, focus ka rito. As you can see, yung pattern niyan ay mag-fall under difference of 2 squares. So we can still factor out this part. Remember ha, difference of 2 squares. So you have x minus 3 and minus 5 times x minus 3 over 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 3. So ngayon, kung mapansin nyo, meron ng common factor sa numerator and denominator. And we can eliminate x minus 3 and x minus 3 here. So therefore, the answers are, the answer is x minus 5 over 2 times x plus 3. So sa akin, okay na yung sagot na yan kasi i-allow ko yung answer na fact factored form kasi nakikita natin na wala ng common factor. Pero sa ibang teacher naman, you're accepting this kind of answer like x minus 5 over 2x plus 6. So either of the two, 
pwede maging final answer natin in item number 5. So, I hope na natuto kayo in our tutorial video on how to simplify rational algebraic expressions. Now, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at hit mo na rin ang bell button para updated ka sa ating mga latest videos. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye!